Like, seriously. Oh my god, like, seriously. You just. I'm like, I'm like, who are we kidding? Like, you know? Like, I was literally talking to um, the boyfriend of my boss at this nightclub that I work at on Friday, uh -huh. and his boyfriend works at a, um, at a surgery clinic. And they do Botox and all those types of things. And I was so yesterday, like the last night, I was like, "Oh my God, do I need to do I need to get Botox?" And he was like, "Well, make an angry face." And I'm like, <laughs> "He's like, are you really making an angry face?" I'm like, "Yes, girl, I am." He's like, "Oh my God, you don't need anything." But he didn't know that I really wasn't doing anything. I just wanted him to think that nothing was doing. <laughs> so yeah. you reversed the Botox. Oh, for sure. <laughs> but we're black. You know, we don't need Botox. And black don't crack and karma don't crinkle. But you know. Ain't nothing wrong with freezing your face. True. I wonder what I would look like with just like a stuck face. Just yeah. like no emotion. A stunning beauty of like... Um... Like laughing would literally be like... <laughs> that sounds very sinister. Oh my God, why am I coining sinister? To be coming who I am. It's okay, you're still sickening though. I think that's what's really important. Thank you. Sickening and sinister. Mm, sounds like a brand to me. Done and done. Okay, don't forget my coin. Oh, okay. And you're in the contract. My, my bag will be right there at the door. Ready to go. How are you? I'm fabulous. Thank you for coming into the chat room, darling. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> we haven't even like officially started this thing. Okay, I'm over. I'm here. I'm here. I'm always ready. <laughs> Let's do it. Hello! Welcome back to the chat room. Your number one spot to get all the tea on music, beauty, style, and random shit you want to know about. Today in the chat room, we have I Am Faith. Hello there, darling. Hello, darling. How Thank you for you? stopping by into the chat room. Mm, thank you for having me. It's about to get hot, heated, nasty, and beautiful. Oh, thank God I brought my towel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's talk about this gorgeous glitter beard. You are the glitter king. Oh, is and that right? I'm obsessed. You should be. Oh. And so is everyone else. Duh. Even the ones that don't even know it. Ooh! They're, they literally are obsessed out there. It's really interesting how humans pass by me and they just like literally stop in their tracks and just like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like that. That's unique. That's lovely. That's yeah. amazing. They just like, gawk. They really are. Oh my God. Some like it, some don't. Then there's some of the children who are just like, oh my God, what the hell is that? Not Girl. the children. Mm -hmm. True. Oh yeah, the children. Oh my. How long does this take you? You know, it just depends. The eyes take the most amount of time, uh -huh. um, but I would say the beard sometimes can take maybe seven minutes, seven to ten minutes. Do you just have counters and counters and drawers filled with glitter? Um, not as much as you would think, mm -hmm. um, but I do have a bag full of different glitters that I do just like to mix and mingle and just, you know, see where it just like takes me. How does this work in the bedroom? Um, well, when I'm alone, I really don't have glitter on, um, but there has been times when I've been with special humans and had showed up at, with a glitter beard. See, yes. Mm -hmm. It's that. been sickening. I mean, and it's, it could be a bit annoying <laughs> for them and their sheets, but it's okay. Nobody gives a f about other people's sheets. No. Especially when I, glitter is involved. I agree. Yes. So tell me about the colors. Do you switch it up based on your mood? Is it like mood changing the beard? Um, it's a little bit of, okay, so this is how it works. It's a little bit of randomness, but at the same time, sometimes there's um, some strategicness in it, into it. Okay. So it's like, like for today, I have a campaign that I'm shooting, not a campaign, but a, um, I am shooting some content, yes. and their colors are red and blue. And so I purposely chose those two colors, but then the other colors, just as in accent colors, just fell into play, mm -hmm. like a green, a yellow, and maybe a gold. Mm -hmm. And we just allow that to be the family of glitter that is just permeate this skin. I love it. Mm -hmm. How do you come up with just the accessories? I just can't stop staring at you. Please don't. Oh my God, you're just glowing. Oh my God, thank you. It's probably the under, like, the under, like, primer or something that I just did. Do you have an actual beard? I don't think I've ever seen your face without a glitter beard. Um, a lot of people haven't. Wow, is that on purpose? Um, yes and no. Um, I think that I've just been consistent with this glitter beard that yeah. I wanted to just like allow it to be part of me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't purposely try to hide my beard, yeah. but I do just love the, the beauty that it creates with it. So why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. What is it like being a gay black man in Los Angeles? Um, I wouldn't know. <laughs> a 
that I, I, don't, I can't recall what that experience was like for me. Mm, why? Because I really identify as a non-binary human oh. um, who is the embodiment of everything. So yes. my experience as a gay black man is just long behind it's me. Good. It's long gone, doesn't exist, nobody gives a fuck. No, they, I really don't. I love it. How high are your cheekbones? Mm, well, I haven't, I've been measured, but they are close to God. They're very close to God. <laughs> very. Don't you love them? I love them. I feel like it's my, um, my Indian that's in my, you know, in my bloodline. I didn't know uh, you're Indian. I, I was told by my grandmother that we do have Indian in our bloodline, oh. and so I believe that's where it may come from. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. So these are not implants. These are definitely all real. Wow. Mm -hmm. I like to smile more just so that they can be more prominent. Let's smile to the camera. Look at her. Enough of that. But yours is just nice and subtle and high as well, though. Thank you. I fake my highness, though. Okay, like a little bit of fillers? Uh, no, no, the contour. Oh, work. Hello. Yeah. You know, girl, you look like you have nothing on butt glitter. Ah! Uh, and lashes. Keep going with the compliments. I just can't get enough of them. I mean, your skin is pretty luscious. Uh, can we have a compliment war? Um, I mean, I, we can try. Let's do it. Your eyelashes are so gorgeous, I just want to put them on my face. Oh my god, your waistline is so thin. I swear to you, I don't even want to eat for days. Oh, your lips are so glittery, I could kiss them and kiss my mind. Oh my god, your hair is so purple, it makes me want to just like, <gasps> eat Skittles. Oh, Skittles! Because I don't want to eat much. <laughs> me neither. I, because I want your waist. Oh, I want your face. Oh my god, you can have it. I can, I can build it on you. Take it off and put it on me. I, I can't do it right now, though. I don't want anyone to see the real me. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts. I'm here for you. I've been getting that lately. People are calling me crazy, psycho, nuts. Well, not in the sense of like, you know, you should be committed crazy, mm -hmm. but okay. more of like just funny, exciting, and like mm -hmm. I want to be around you like at least twice a week. Because other five days, I really need to just do other things. Yeah, same. I, I can really only send myself for about one day out of the week, so. I can't imagine how other people take me. Child, I can't even stand myself one day a week, but I can't escape myself, so I've learned to just tolerate it. Yes. What does your home look like? I feel like it's, is it glittery? The bathroom is. Oh, are we talking walls? Not so much, just the sink. The sink had like somehow was inoperable, and then I had some young human come over and fix it, and now it's working properly now. Young human, what do you define as young? You know, Someone who's just not old. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's Are all you of not us. old? I'm not, no. Me neither. I, I don't even age. You don't? No. You don't? You know how old I am? I don't. 50. <laughs> oh, but. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the jaw drop? They would have gagged. Gagged? Oh my god, just imagine. I, I mean, I have aged, but nobody needs to know that. Nobody needs to know anything. Mm -mm. No, secrets. Se oh, and we all have them. I do. You can only imagine what your apartment looks like. Oh, honey. It's fabulous. I believe it. It's fucking fabulous. You would live. I do live. And I'm living for you. Ah, I am living for you and me. <laughs> and you know what I like to say, if you're not living, you're dying, and nobody has time to be dying. I died earlier today, because I saw something so fabulous in the community. Was it me? what I thought. Ugh. And you're still living. Apparently. Reincarnated. I think I'm a walking zombie. But a very sickening walking zombie. Sickening. Nonetheless. Where did that name come from, sickening? Well, I believe it might have been something that I've heard through maybe RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm. You know, and maybe on our culture, mm -hmm. um, I find that sickening is a feeling, it's an overall mood. Yes. You know, it's something that you experience. Yes. Um, it's something that you just embody. Um, and that's just what it is. And so when, you, when something is sickening, girl, it's just that. It's, it is what it is. I love the, you have to say, sickening. Not yes. sickening, sickening. It's very loud. Yeah. Sickening. Oh, woo! Hello. It just does something to your body. <sighs> I think I need a moment. Oh my god, you are the moment. Oh! <laughs> this could just go on and on and on! 
Yeah. So I guess now we're gonna have a t now the show is gonna be me and you. Yeah, done, oh. done, mm -hmm. and done. So I am Faith and Nadia. Ready. Sounds sickening to me. Sickening. Oh my god, they were literally gagged. Could I think you? this is what they want. I. It is what they want. Okay, so we're gonna have to start to put this on a schedule. Yeah. Um. You probably shoot how many days? Like five days a week, seven days a week? Every day. All Every day. day? Okay, depend. cute. You know what? I'll just take two of those seven. You can have. You can still still continue to have the other five because you deserve it. It's your show. Yeah. And I'm not trying to take over. Yeah. I just want to give the girls a little bit of me. They don't need all of me. I love that. Mm -hmm. So you're non-binary. Yes, I am. What is that like? Um, it's difficult, but also fun and exciting. Why is it difficult? Mm, because I'm a human that actually desires a partner, and it yeah. can be very difficult to find one of those. How do you correct someone? if they get your pronouns incorrect. There's no way to get the pronouns correct when I'm the embodiment of all pronouns. Oh, you are. Everything. You are. Mm -hmm. He, she, they. Everything. Whatever comes natural to a human to even speak when it, in regards to me. Yes. So do you identify on the LGBTQIA spectrum? Of course I do. Yes. Non-binary falls in there. Yes. What do you have to say to people who are confused or uncomfortable about being non-binary? Um, I would have to say to humans that may feel confused about being non-binary is to embrace all of that you are. Understand that you are beautiful, that you're sickening, you're amazing, you're designed perfectly the way that you are. Yeah. And just allow that to be your pathway to your existence and just be fierce, honey. Because at the end of the day, there's gonna be plenty of humans that are not gonna understand why you're so fabulous, why you who you are, and we are not here to to educate them in a sense of like, until we're like blue in the face. Mm -hmm. Honey, it's very simple. Non-binary is non-binary. Honey, if you need to learn more about it, find a dictionary. Done. Do we have dictionaries here? No, because we actually know what the f we're talking about. We really do. It's just unfortunate that there's a lot of humans out there that find it to be their life mission to be all up in everybody's business in Isn't a sense of like, just, it's just, why? all of the things. Like why? Because don't you have other things to do? Apparently they don't. Or if they do, they really want to focus on, on humans that are just trying to better themselves, trying to create opportunities for others mm -hmm. that are less fortunate, that may not have these opportunities, mm -hmm. and just get out of our way. You have to get out of the way and shut the fuck up if you have anything negative to say or that doesn't support other people's lives. You said it better than me, honey. This goes out to wow. all the motherfuckers who need to mind their own goddamn yeah. business. Mind your business. Can we have a laugh off? I want to hear your best laughs. Oh my goodness, oh my god, laugh off. I go, you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gagged. I've never really did a laugh off before, and it's kind of interesting to do. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's just so, you know, it's, it puts me uncomfortable because it's, it doesn't come off as authentic to, for me mm. to do laugh offs because I'm like, it's a forced laugh. Yeah. But I still, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Sometimes you just have to it. force a laugh, though. We're okay with that. Some he things, we, like there's it. a lot of things we force in life. Oh. I <laughs> know. Like being in the world with humans that don't understand us. That's something we have to do. That's a f laugh. <laughs> <laughs> We're done here. Are we really? No, already? We're oh done. Oh my God, Jesus, Joseph and Mary. We're done. I'm... Thank you so much for coming into the chat room. Oh, no, thank you. Where can people find you on social media? I'm on Rise of Faith on Instagram. I love it. One place only at this present moment. One. One night only. One night only. That's all I have to say. Oh, you're I'm... fabulous. So are you.
You are just divine. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe. Until next time, deuces.